This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, good morning everyone. Baruch HaMavon. We're, uh, Be'ezus Hashem, beginning Mesech Teksubis uh, this week, tomorrow evening, 9.15, right here, live. So you could, you could, we'll still be on Zoom, we'll still be on Torah Anytime, and all the other platforms. But we're adding a new platform, it's called Live. <laughs> Nothing beats Live. So, uh, I just want to share with you some thoughts on Meseches Kesubais, which begins, of course, with the words, Besula Niseis Liyayim Haravi. Besula. Now, it's really amazing that we're beginning Mesechta Kesubais now, in the month of Elul. As we know, the Mazel of Elul is Besula. The Mazel of Elul is Besula. So, what better month to begin Basula Nisseis, then the month of Elo. And it's pretty interesting that uh, Basula is married on Wednesday. Why does she get married on Wednesday? W- a rather unceremonious day to get married. I mean, what, what's Wednesday? The only thing uh, that we do on Wednesday is we have the Wednesday night shear, you know? But most people don't necessarily think of Wednesday. Actually, I believe that if you get married today on Wednesday nights, it's cheaper. Because nobody is interested in getting married on Wednesdays. The halls are actually cheaper on Wednesday. It's such a, it's such an interesting thing, how, you know, the one day the Gemara says to get married, no, for for whatever reason nobody wants to get married that day. But the, what? Wednesday is really Tuesday night. Yeah, right. But uh, well, well, you're right. Wednesday night, Wednesday night is is the cheaper night. But it's cheaper even if it's uh, in the summer when it's actually Yom Ravi. But the Sula Nisseis Yom Ravi. So we're going to begin with the following very interesting and unusual question on the Masechta. So we have Perak Chamishi of Masechta Ksubais. It's called Perak Afalpi. Perak Afalpi. So it begins with the word Af. Okay. But, you know, the Medr says there are four people who began their statements with Af, and they had a big downfall. Who are they? The Nachash. Af ki omar lekim ki The Nachash began his drasha with the word Af. You know, remember that? The first word of the Nachash, Af. Who else began with Af? The Sar Ha'ifim. Af bachaloimi. Now the Sar Ha'ifim did not have a good ending. Who else began Af? Koirach. The Adas Koirach. What was the first word that says? Afel Ered Savas Chalav Udavash. Who else? The first word they said. The first word they ever said began with Af? Haman. Haman said, um, Af. What did Haman say? Who remembers? Haman began his drasha with the word Af. Or is a, a, a Haman? Haman. Haman said that uh, Mordech, that Achashverosh. No, no. That he said that uh, Haman said that Achashverosh invited everyone to the um, uh, all, uh, everyone bowed down to me except for uh, Mordechai. So we have four people who began their drasha with the word Af. They all had a downfall. The Sarah Oifin said, Afani bachaloimi, Adas Korach Afloy El Eretz, Afloy Hevi Esther Hamalka, Af. Af means anger. Never start your speech with Af. Okay? By the way, um, the Bnei Soscha writes in one of his Svarim that the Haman was a Gilgal of the Sarah Oifin. And that's why we eat hamantashin on Purim, because we have to, we're paying homage to the Sar Ha'ifim, we're eating his baked goods on Purim. Anyway, um, I once heard that from Rabbi Reisman, who said that he didn't really appreciate that since his father was a baker. <laughs> but, okay. So the kasha is, Rabbi Isai, how could a, masa, how could a parak in Shas, parak chamishi in Ksubis, begin with the word af? Interesting question. You know, somebody asked this question. This question is raised in the Sefer Shemen Hatoiv 
of Reb Shmelka of Nicholsburg. I heard this uh, Thursday night from uh, John Talansky, you know he is, in the neighborhood. And um, I think he said it over from a share that he heard. Uh, how could a parak and shas begin with the word af? You ready for this? Fasten your seatbelts. How many prakim in Masechtik Subais? 13 prakim in Masechtik Subais. Corresponding to the Yud Gimel Midai Sarachamim. Kael, now according to the Arizal, it's Kael, Rachum, Vichanun, Erech, Apayim, Af. The fifth parak of Subais is the Mida of Rachamim, corresponding to the Mida of Af. The fifth parak of Subas helps we helps Klaiso overcome the midas apayim of Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Why? Why Subas? Why not any other mesechta? Says Reb Shmuelkom Nich- Nicholsburg. He says, "Denoida ki haTorah shabal peh vehema yud gimol midas shatar nidreshes behem hema mechuvanim kinegar yud midos tlei sar mechilin derachamei." Okay, so this is a principle that we're familiar with from the Magad of Mezrich, from the Malbim of the Eretz Chemda, that the 13 Midas Shatar Nidreshes for him correspond to, to the 13 Midas of Rachamim. Why do we begin Shachras, Rabbi Shmuel Oymer, B'Sholosh Esri Midas Shatar Nidreshes for him? Because by learning the B'Sholosh Esri Midas Shatar Nidreshes for him, it's Ma'oyer, the 13 Midas Harachamim. In fact, the Malbim says, the Magad of Mezrich says, that Moshe Rabbeinu said, Kel, no, Rafa, no, la. He wanted to arouse the Midah of Kel. Hashem says, you want to arouse the Midah of Kel? The Aviha Yoroik Yorak Bifaneha Haloisi Kalim Shivas Yomim. Rabbi Shalom said, you have to learn Dine Kavachoymer. Because Kavachoymer corresponds to Kel. So what corresponds to Apayim? The fifth Midah Shatar and Rosh Hashem. Says the Shemen Hatov, says the Shemak of Nicholsburg. Even though the whole Torah Shabbal Peh is Yod Gimel Midah Shatar Nereshes Behem, but the epitome of Torah Shabbal Peh is Masech Ksubais. Why? Because it's Shas Katan. It has a din of the whole Shas. So since it has a din of the whole Shas, it has 13 Prakim. And Perak Chamishi is Keneged Apayim. And therefore it begins with Af. Therefore, Pihem Paschu Bechachma Af Alpi. Rav Shmachka of Nicholsburg. Okay, unbelievable. So, can there be any greater Hashgacha Pratis than on the day that we begin to say the Yud Gimel Midais Harachamim that we should learn Masech Subas? Now, Masech Subas comes up once every 50 years. Right? In the Daf HaShavuah. In the history of the world, did it ever occur that Masech Subas came on the first day of Suichas I bet it never happened in the history of the entire world. So this is the most momentous day since Bria Sa'ilam. We have Bria Sa'ilam. We have when Abraham left to Eretz Yisrael, Lech Lecha. We have Kabbalah Satoira. We have maybe other great moments in Jewish history. And this on the, on the top, this is maybe for sure top ten. Maybe we'll have a share. Top ten moments in Jewish history it would be when Dafa Shua began Mesech Subas on the first day of the Yudgim Omid of uh, So that's pretty amazing. So therefore, somebody asked Rab, um, Rabbi Yitzhak Zilberstein, they have anger management issues. What could they learn as a skula to overcome their anger? Rabbi Yitzhak Zilberstein pointed them to Rabbi Shmelk of Nicholsburg. They should learn Be'iyon, Mesech Subas, especially Perak Afalpi. Okay. Just a little tidbit. Now, let's take this further. Because we know only the Arizal holds that it goes Kel, Rachum, Bechanon, Erech, Apayim. But according to the Rishonim, it's Hashem, Hashem. Which means the first parak of Ksubis would correspond to the Yerke Vavke. So let's analyze that a little bit. So they came to Rav Nachman of Breslov. For a school or for a shidduch? So Rav Nachman of Breslov, in the Sefer Elef Kasav, he says a school of for shidduch is to learn, is, excuse me, Kiddush Levana. Let me, let, me, let me find this over here. Ah, this comes from Sefer Hamidois of uh, the Maharan. He said, Beberchas Halavana, there's a school to find the shidduch. It doesn't mean you're going to find it on the moon. It means by saying 
Kishavana Bekavana, it's the school for Shidduch. Why, said Ram Nachman? Besula Niseis Liyayim Haravi is Rosh Yitevois Levana. So when you do Kiddush Levana, you're Zoycha to Besula Niseis Liyayim Haravi. Now, one of the, one of the um, descendants of the Chassam Soifer also brings in this remez called Levana. And he brings in, we know there's a minhag that one is supposed to get married. Bizman miloi halavana. It's better to get married in the beginning of the month than at the end of the month. One should try to get married in the beginning of the month. There's such a minhag. The hafla says it's not a correct minhag. There's no reason to do it. But that's what people do. Where is it, Marumas? Basula nises liyayim haravi lavana. That's what the, the descendants of the Chassam Soifer bring. The Ben Yehoyada also brings this remez, Basula Nisus Yam Ravi is Rashitevois Levana. And the Ben Yoyada says as follows. Ben Yoyada says that the Levana, when it's Bimilua, that's when it's called Levana. Until while it's small, it's not called Levana. Therefore, a nara hamurasa, when she's bemilua, meaning a woman, when she's bemilua, she's a besula, she's compared to the levana, bemilua, and therefore besula nises liyam ravi is called levana. So there are many uh, different um, ramazim, and many different important Ramazim in the first four words of the Masech, the Basula Nisus Liyam Ravi. So let's start with the first Toysus. Toysus has a kasha in Ksubis. Basula Nisus Liyam Ravi. Toysus wants to know why, why doesn't it say Habasula? Okay? Now you should be familiar with this Toysus because many, many Masechtas begin with this question. For example, Ha Isha Niknes. Uh, that's the beginning of Kedushin. Toysus wants to know why does it say Ha Isha? It should say Isha Niknes. Yivamais begins. Chamesh Esrei Noshim. Um, and Toysus always wants to know, why does it say a hey? Why does it not say a hey? So Toysus says, Hadula Ketani Habesula, like it says, Ha'isha Nikneis, Ha'yevama Nikneis. Because there, says Toysus, is going on the Pasuk. Ki yikach ish Isha, ah, oh, Isha, it says Isha in the Pasuk. Ha'isha, that woman that it says in the Pasuk. Or, um, Yavama, it says, the Yavam. But it never says a Basula in the Chumash. Does it ever say in the Chumash, Basula? It never talks about a Basula, so therefore it does not say Ha Basula. But the, actually at the Siam Thursday night, Rabbi Moshe Aaron Stern pointed out, um, Rabbi Moshe Aaron Friedman pointed out, that uh, another answer to Taisus' Kasha was, since there's an imperative to write, Basuna is going to be, to be Maram, is to Levana, so it can't say ha besula because you ruin the remez to levana. Now we said yesterday by the siyum, what's the last mission on Yavamais? Maseh bevnei Levi, shaholchu liir tsayan ir hatamarim, and who is that a remez to? To Tamar, and Tamar was a Gilgal of Rachav, and Rachav was married to Yehoshua Benun, who is compared to levana. So therefore, that's a connection between Yavamais and Ksub. Okay, now fasten your seatbelts. Okay, this was just Hakdama. Comes the Tamidei Hagra. And the Tamidei Hagra, namely Rabbi Yitzhak Isaac Chaver, at the end of Masech the Gitin, he says, why do we get married on Wednesday? He says, Mishum Shabiyoim Haravi'i Nivru'u Hama'oyrois Berakia. Because that's the day God created the luminaries. So what are the luminaries? We have a sun and a moon. And they had marital strife. The sun said, Ah, oh, I'm the king. And the moon said, I'm the king. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu said, Ein shnei malachim mishtamshim b'kesar echad. And Hashem had to be mamait the levana. Um, and the kavana of the Bria was that the sun should be the mashpiyah. And the moon should be the Makabel, like Ish Isha, And Al Yedei Shnehem, the Keser, would emanate Mish, uh, Mishnehem. But HaKadosh Baruch Hu had to take away the godless from the Levana, from the Isha, give it only to the Ish, 
and the woman has to sub- subjugate herself to the man. But the original kavana of the Bria, where there, Hashem created Shnei Ma'orois Hagadolim. And it seems that uh, we get married on Wednesday in order to somehow restore the original kavana of the Bria, which is Shnei Ma'orois Hagadolim, and through the union of the Shemesh and the Yoreach, that would bring out the Keser Melucha of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. That is how the Talmidei Hagra learned the significance of Besula Nisseis Liyom Haravi, that uh, as uh, we're Mespala, V'hoya Ar Halavana Ka'ar Hachama. So by getting married Biyom Haravi, somehow this restores the original Kavana of the Bria of Eshnei uh, Hama Oirois Hagadolam. But the Chida has a different take on Besula Nisseis Liyom Haravi. The Chida quotes the Ramah Mipano. And the Chida says that originally the sun and the moon had no offspring. There were no Kaychavim. Why? Because if husband and wife think that they're on equal playing fields, then it doesn't work out. And there are no offspring. But when the Yoreach was Nismait, only then HaKadosh Baruch Hu created the Kaychavim. So we tell the husband and wife, if you want your relationship to be fruitful, you need to think back to the fourth day of creation. And what, what, what happened? When the Yoreach made itself small, then they were noilad the Kaychavim. So therefore we tell, tell the Ish Isha, if you guys want to both wear the crown, this ain't going to work. You, the Yoreach has to be mamayit herself, and then you'll be zoichet to Zara, Chaya, Vekayama, Zara, Dila, Yivsak, and therefore says the Chida, Efshar li tein ta'am al nesuei ha-besula b'yam ha-dalid al pima shekasav ha-ramami panoi t'shemesh v'yoreach ha-yushavim v'yoysam shavim i efshar l'hoilad v'zeh shekasav i efshar l'beiz melachim sh'yisham sh'bekeser echad Sheyishtamshu, a lotion of Tashmish Hamita, says the Chida. The Chain Avraham the Sarah were like a Shemesh Viareach, and they were equal, and therefore they couldn't be moiled. Vashem Pokad es Sarah, Pokad means he was Mamayed her, and then Yitzchak was born. Ulahaz Kirza, Tiknu Hanesuim, Yoim Dalid, Shenitsu Hamaoiros, Vlayachu, Lishtames. Bez bekeser echad at shakadosh baruch hu miyed halavana v'harbei tzvayseha. As Rav Miller would say, there's a captain and a first mate, but there can't be two captains. If there are two captains, then there are two captains and no banim. There has to be a miyed halavana, and then there could be kaychavim, and therefore besula nises liyam haravi. Now, just the point of not everything we learn here needs to be repeated, just <laughs> for your own knowledge. You know, you may have to take other approaches when you actually get home. But just so you should know, you know, you might want to say over, Basula Nisseis Liyam because if there's Tainis Basulim, you could go to Bezdin the next day. But just Laman Ho'emes, you should know some of the true Pshatim. But there's um, further meaning over here. There's further meaning over here. And that is, by the way, another segula to get married brought in the official sefer, Siach Tzadikim, okay, is just like we said, if you learn, um, if you do Kiddush Levana, it's a segula to find the zivug. zivug, yomad be'ion subas, umesugal Okay, so those are the two choices, Kiddush Levana be'kavana, or Masech subas be'ion. Some are easier than others. It depends, you know. To learn about Kiddush Lavana or do Kiddush Do it. To do it, to do it. Um, the following idea. Hashem created the sun and the moon. And originally He created them equal on equal playing fields. And they were both yud K. As we know, Hashem's name in the future is going to be Bayem HaHu. Yeah, Hashem Echad, the Navi Zechariah says. In the future, God's name will be yud Ke yud Ke. So that Rizal reveals, in the future, God's name will be yud Ke yud Ke, Because the sun and the moon were both 
Ma'oris Hagdoilim. But Hashem had to be Mamait, the Levana. So now the sun is Yod K and the moon is Vav K. The Vav K is the symbol of Miyod Halavana. Got that? When did that happen? Biyoim Haravi. So that means the Avoida of Masechta Ksubais is Besula Nisseis Liyoim Haravi, is to restore the Shem Havaya. Besula Nisseis Liyoim Haravi, Levana. So now, Masechta Yivam Ois is which Ois Yoyis of the Shem Havaya? Tesvav Nashem. Paitroi Sarasem, Sarasem. That's the Yudke. But Besula Nisseis Liyoim Haravi is the Vavke. It's the Levana. So the connection between Yivamas and Ksubis is Tesvav Nashim is the Yudke. Besula Nisseis Yom Ravi is Levana is the Vavke. That's the, the connection between Yivamas and Ksubis. Yivamas is Yudke and Ksubis is Vavke. Yudke, the 15 women that pound their tzar, the Vavke is the Levana, Besula Nisseis Yom Ravi. Going back to Rav Shmelka of Nicholsburg, that means the first parak of Ksubis is which name? According to our results, Kael. But according to the, Bala, the Rishonim, Rabbi Tam, the first parak is Shem Havaya. So the first parak of Ksubis is Yod Kei Vav Kei in and of itself. And by learning it Bi'ion, we could transform it into the Bayoi Mahu Yihya Hashem Achad Ushmayachad. So there are a few different ideas of Basula Nisus Yom Ravi. Number one, that the union of Ishva Isha is like the original status of the sun and the moon, and the, uh, where the Kesar emanates from both. Number two, what the Chida writes in the Pesach Enayim, Besula Nisus Yom Ravi, because reminding the woman, she has to be Mamayir Es Atzma in order to produce the Kaychavim. And there's also an idea that the Mir Halavana, the Mir Halavana is responsible for all Tsar in this world. All Tsar in this world is because of the Mir Halavana. That's why. The first days of Yom Tif are compared to the sun. Chal is compared to the moon. But when Mashiach comes, it won't be Chal there will be only Yom Tif. That's why Masech Damayid Kata, and it puts together the Inyan of Chal together with Avelos, because both of them come from Miyot Halavana. And that's why by Elavaya, the Gemara Mayid Katan says they would clap Kaf al Kaf. Why Kaf al Kaf? Because, what's kaf? A hundred. What's kaf? A hundred. Yud ke vav ke is, Hashem's name in the future will be yud ke yud ke. So yud times hey, fifty. Hey times yud, fifty. That's a hundred. Yud times hey, the second yud ke, fifty. Hey times yud, fifty. So 100 by 100 is kaf al kaf. It's a tefillah that at Elvaya they would smack kaf al kaf. It was a tefillah of bila maves lanetzach that Hashem should restore the yud ke vav ke into yud ke yud ke. Okay, Rabbi Say, tomorrow night, 9.15, besula nusas yam ravi, not b- b- actually bedar chapshat, with um, look forward to seeing everybody bezus Hashem Monday evening. And uh, have a wonderful day. Rachel Atzlach, Rabbi Kachananya, Ben Akash, Oimer. Rabbi Atzlach, Kadosh Baruch Hu, Zakis, Israel, Lufiko, Achil, Ham, Tarmitz, Hashanemar, Adonai, Chafet, Siman, Tzilkoi, Yagdil, Taravi, Adir. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.